Hi everybody, this is Diane with Scrap Happy Die. Wanted to share with you a little project I did. Um, recently, with my little youth group girls, we made these little books. I went to Dollar Tree, they had, let me zoom back out. And you've got my fan blowing right there, so that's why it's a little loud. But, um, went to Dollar Tree and they have a pack of three for a dollar. And they are not very big, about four and a half inches tall by about three and a quarter wide. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I made these with my little girls and they loved it. And then I did one adding a little uh, tassel or I guess you could say a bookmark and put it in there. And it's just a cute little gift. So I've got a swap coming up with some girlfriends and we're doing a Halloween theme and I thought, oh, good time to purge my paper. So I did this one. I'm not really exactly thrilled with the way it came out. I did use an owl bead that I had and um, it's cute. This is too wide, but I had to do it that wide to hold it on. I'm, I'm just not really happy with it. So I'll probably make another one. And I thought you could follow along with me. So I'm using this paper. Uh, these paper are old from my stash. This is new stickers from the Echo Park Bewitched paper collection I picked up at Tuesday morning. So there's that. So I first started by doing some beads. I couldn't get the owl bead on this again. It was very difficult. So I'm just going to do it without it. And I make a triple knot one right over the other I actually think that might be okay let's see yeah that's all right all right so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue the front on and yes the corners are rounded but I cut manually cut them to match because it's kind of a as you can see not a real good round you know what I mean it's it's kind of a sharp edge here and then it flows nicely here so I do that manually so I start by just putting my liquid glue and I don't worry about the black seam because I'm going to cover that with uh, the glitter I don't go all the way to the end but kind of close And this is the back side. Wouldn't that be pretty too? All right, so I just glue it on, making sure it meets the ends on top and on bottom and the side. Oop. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to do the back also on or Ah, uh, you know what? I think I'm going to use the stripe paper. Because I feel like the back, you don't really see very much, and it kind of gets hidden. So I'm going to put it here. It's even got a cute sugar skull, I mean, so you could use that. And I'm gluing this on. Okay. Now why that sets for a minute, oop, see I gotta push it up a little. There we go. Now while it sets and adheres, what I do is I put I lay this down like that. And then I just add a little double-sided tape down the side. No, nope, not that one. This one. You could use a hot glue, but it just makes it bulkier. So what I do is I just add a little double-sided tape down the spine. Ugh. Now this is a, frankly, it's a scrapbook store that I go to occasionally. She has her own brand of double-sided tape. And it's cheaper, but it's definitely not as good as the regular stuff that I get, which is, what is it? 
Oh, Suk, Suk Wang. I get it. Well, almost everywhere has a version of it, a size. I like them best for my mini books. All right, so I just push this down on here. I leave enough to dangle out. Trim it a little bit, like so. Now before I put the glitter binding on, see those edges? I just take my X-Acto knife. I gotta turn it so I can see it. And just trim it. And I do that all the way around. This one is pretty good on the top and bottom, but not the outer edge. So that one I just follow along the edge of the book. There we go. I could cut a little off there, but I'm not going to worry about that so much. Now I'm going to do this side. Okay, again, cutting this off. And for whatever reason, I always find the back seems to fit better. I don't know if it's me <laughs> or what i've even tried gluing the back on first and then doing the front but nope all right and there we go now it's a little rough on top i'm not really pleased with that but it's on the back so it's all right now i'm gonna put the binding what i call the binding and I'm going to, let's see, this is a two and a quarter, so one and one, one and one eighth. It's two and a quarter inches wide. So I'm going to ugh, turn it around. I'm going to glue it on like here. Now, because it's got that double-sided tape, I'm just gonna fold it over, and that will hold it in place-ish. And then I'm gonna put my glue down in there. You could use the double-sided tape on this. I personally like the glue better. I always put some down in the, the binding area, the crack of the binding. Okay, set that down. Now I'm going to do this side. And press it down. Now, I uh, let it sit there like that for a while. And it does come out a little bit on top. I don't know if you can see that right there. Yeah, you can, right there. I will trim it off, but I'm gonna wait for it to dry. But I think I'll put a little something on here. I do have these stickers and I thought they're cute. I really think that one's adorable. That's a lot of orange. So maybe on this one. Ghosts and goblins, spooks galore, witches knocking at your door, jack-o'-lanterns shining bright, wishing you a haunting night. I mean, that's kind of cute, but I think that'd be better for a card. There's a haunted house. I like to put something over this just to show a little difference maybe I'll do this oh I do when I put stickers on the glitter I do put uh, some glue on it because it just seems to stick a little bit better ok 
Okay, and then I'm going to put something here. Mm -hmm. The witches are cute, but they're really big, and I'm saving them for a different project. So... Well, shoot. Need something here or down here, I feel. No, it doesn't go. I'll say that for the witches. Well, shoot. That will do. It's a lot of orange though. Let's see. It's not straight, so I gotta fix it. Okay, let's see. Still not liking it. Shoot. I'm going to overlap it. It's a small book, but then I can put a little something on here. But what? Glue dries clear, so I'm not too worried about that. Orange. Moon. really need something down here. I really wish there was something, a small cat. Well, doggone it. Let me rummage through these small ones, see if there's something that jumps out at me. No. 
my Michaels doesn't have any of the 12 by 12 paper pads that are new for Halloween. This, I think, is from last year. And this, they literally had two of these. I should have bought them both, but I felt, I felt like I was being selfish, so. Let me look through my other stuff here. Yeah, I don't have anything. So I think for now that'll be it. I will probably come up with something here. I'm not happy with this. This may even come up. But that's my my little book. I will snap off this little bit. And that's a cute little notebook to carry around if you need to carry in your car. They say you should always have a notepad in your car. But um, you can find this, find me on Instagram at Scrap Happy Die. Uh, you can leave comments if you like below, and I do get back to them eventually. And you can uh, give me a thumbs up if you like what you see, or you can hit the bell to be subscribed for a uh, a new video when they're posted they'll notify you i hope you have a wonderful day and keep safe